All right, guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how you can work from home with these nine remote jobs that are relatively entry level, right? So you're not going to need either any experience at all, or there are ways of getting experience when you don't have any, which I'll talk about later on in the video. So if you appreciate me doing this type of video, let me know by gently tapping that like button. Let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is AR follow up representative. And what this stands for is accounts receivable follow up representative. And a lot of the time you're going to be working in either the medical industry or the insurance industry. So you're basically going to be handling insurance claims and billing for healthcare providers, which ensures timely and accurate payments. So this is a very easy position to land doesn't require a college degree or previous experience, you can make about 43 to $58,000 a year as well. And the company that's actually hiring right now for this position is Aspirion. And this is a company that basically helps healthcare providers maximize their hospital revenue by focusing on their most challenging reimbursements. And they do this through a combination of technology and strategy. So you can uh, pause the video and read about what they need and what you could provide. They start you off at about $16.11 per hour. They also do have a competitive benefits package and the company has pretty good ratings from their employees online. And in terms of the requirements, there really isn't that much. They basically don't have any. So you'd start by going to Asperian.com. Then you're gonna click on careers at the top right. Then you're gonna click on explore open positions. And then in the search job title section, write entry level AR follow-up representative. And this job should appear. You can also type something a little bit more generic like representative and a bunch of jobs will appear. And then you can just go ahead and scroll down to the job listings and pick whichever one you like the most. Then you wanna click on the job title and go ahead and apply for it. So like I said, in terms of the requirements, it's just a bunch of stuff that you can't really measure. It's intangible. So active listening, ability to multitask, exceptional phone etiquette, et cetera, et cetera. They're not requiring you know three years of experience or a college degree or anything like that. All this stuff, you can just say that you have it and you know hopefully you practice a little bit so you do have it or you can get up to speed really quickly so you can actually do the job. But as long as you think you can do the job, go ahead and apply. Right, and you you can definitely do this job. Uh, think about how you manage chores or you help out your family with stuff or projects in school or university. This is less complicated nice. than that. Now, some courses or certificates you could take here to help you land this job would be the Revenue Cycle Management in Healthcare course. This is by LearnDrive. You could also take the Medical Billing and Coding Certification by the AAPC, which is the American Academy of Professional Coders. That would also look really good on your resume and it would very likely help you land the job. And some other career paths you might end up going down after this one would be a supervisor or team leader for AR, and that's sixty-five to ninety-eight thousand dollars a year, or a revenue cycle manager, and they make about eighty-six to one hundred and fifty-one thousand dollars a year. So a lot of opportunities, both at the entry level as well as down the line. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of ten opportunity score. Next is going to be a digital content coordinator, and this is somebody who manages and organizes digital content on various different online platforms. And I like this quote: "Content isn't king; it's the kingdom." And I would have to agree with that. Content marketing is the way to go. I mean, content is just the future. And by the way, I do have a live training where I teach people exactly how I grew this exact YouTube channel you're watching right now to six figures a month. And that's going to be on Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern time. It'll be down in the description in the pinned comment below. You should definitely check it out. And I do actually work with a few people per month on how to actually grow and make money on their YouTube channels. Typically, these are their business owners or people who already have a YouTube channel. And you can apply for that with the coaching down in the description in the pinned comment below. Now, digital content coordinators make about forty-five to $67,000 a year, which is pretty good, especially considering it's an entry-level job, doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. One course you could help get into this would be the digital content planning management course on Coursera. And some other career paths you might go down would be a senior content manager. They make about fifty-five dollars to $99,000 a year. And content specialists make about sixty-seven dollars to $113,000 a year. Now, the specific job I'm going to have you apply for is going to be by WebsterRantStore.com. And the company is called Websterant. And this is basically an online retailer that supplies businesses. And they really have a massive operation. I mean, they operate in all of these different states and all these different locations. And they are hiring for a digital content coordinator. It is a remote position. Here's what they say you're going to be doing in the job. You can pause the video and check it out if you'd like. And you'll basically be curating accurate product attributes and images for new and existing items to ensure an optimal shopping experience for customers. And you're going to need research skills. You're going to need to manage content and collaborate with other people as well. And they're going to start you off at about 50K per year. So the way you apply is you go to this page right here, webstaurantstore.com. You scroll down to the bottom of the page until you reach the about section. Then you click on careers. Then you'll be taken to this page, you can click on view all jobs, then click remote, then you're going to have a bunch of different options like marketing, internship, content, customer solutions, supply chain, development, distribution, photo video, IT and logistics. In this particular case, you're going to be clicking on content, then you're going to click on digital content coordinator, and then you're going to apply to the job. So here's basically what they're looking for. And all of these things are things that you could either very easily pick up without having any previous experience or a college degree, or you probably already have it right now. So yeah, this one 
one's really good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. Next is gonna be an associate digital marketing specialist. And this is a position where you basically optimize media buys, create online sales funnels, and analyze campaigns for companies that are trying to acquire customers. Here's a cool video from this girl, Natalia, that talks about a day in the life of being a digital marketing associate. And she basically talks about how she manages multiple projects, attends meetings, coordinates promotional activities, and ensures everything is set for the weekend. Now, associate digital marketing specialists make about 55 to 89 thousand dollars a year. Now, a great way to get into this would be starting with the digital career blueprint course. This is a course where I've interviewed a bunch of people on this channel and they've actually used it to get into digital marketing. And they actually do offer a free training, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below. Another really good one would be the digital marketing and e-commerce certificate from Coursera. And one company that's hiring right now is goldenhippo.com. And they claim to be the builders of America's most popular health and wellness brands. Now you'd want to click on careers at the top right of the screen. Then you want to scroll down until you see the search bar. And then you're going to write associate digital marketing specialist and press search. And then you can just go ahead and apply for the job because it'll be the first one that pops up. So yeah, this one's pretty good. They have some pretty good uh, perks and benefits. Seems like a pretty good company to start with. There's also some really good careers you can go into down the line, like digital marketing manager, they make 92 to $167,000 a year, or director of digital marketing, they make about 172 to $296,000 a year. So yeah, pretty good opportunity. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next one on the list is going to be a sales development representative or SDR. And basically what you're going to be doing in this position is outreach or connecting with prospects to generate sales opportunities. Now, typically SDRs work in the technology industry. And so this isn't some kind of like get rich quick, you know, like make a quick sale type of thing. You're mostly building relationships with people and then you might, you know, do a long-term contract down the line. Now in this position, you make about 63 to $99,000 a year. There's several really good trainings you can take. My favorite one is by Course Careers. I've actually interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have gotten jobs using the Course Careers training. And they do actually have a free version of the training down the description in the pinned comment below that you can check out. But there's also the sales development certification from HubSpot. There's the business development and B2B sales for startups on Udemy. And then there's the certified inside sales professional or CISP. You can take that as well. Now, Glassdoor has this really cool feature where they'll actually show you a common career path a lot of people take. So you might start off as a sales development representative. They're making about 61 to $98,000 a year. Then you become an executive sales development representative. They're making about 73 to $117,000 a year. Then you might become a lead sales development representative, they make about 73 to $120,000 a year. Then you might become an SDR manager, they make about 75 to $124,000 a year. And then you might become a director of sales, they make 194 to $351,000 a year. You might also become a senior manager of sales, they make 255 to $445,000 a year. Senior director of sales makes 261 to $446,000 a year. And a vice president of sales makes 283 to $509,000 a year. So as you can see, there are a lot of job opportunities for you to move into down the line. And you can make up to half a million dollars a year. So yeah, really good one. Here's an opportunity I'll put it up on the screen. You can check it out. I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 9.5 out of 10. Next is gonna be a human resources generalist. And this is where you're gonna be doing various different HR functions such as payroll, benefits, recruiting, and employee relations for the company. And HR generalists make about 58 to $90,000 a year. Now there's some really good training for this one to help yourself you know, land the job. Coursera has some good stuff, for instance, like the human resource management, HR for people managers specialization. They also have the HRCI human resource associate professional certificate. And you can move into other types of job roles like human resource manager, which makes around 87 to $156,000 a year and director of human resource Sources, which makes about 159 to $287,000 a year. Now, some of the positions you're going to find for this role are going to require a college degree, or at least they say they do. And then some of them actually do, but some don't, right? So here's an opportunity. I'll put it up on the screen. You can check it out. And a lot of the ones that do require a college degree, they kind of don't care which one you have. You could basically have any college degree and they wouldn't really care. So if you're one of those people who kind of got like a useless degree and you're worried about it, you don't think you can get a job, this might be a good job for you to apply for. Overall, I like this one. I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a client success representative. This is also called a customer success manager or CSM. And basically your job is to work with usually higher ticket customers and you work with them closely to make sure they get success with whatever your product or service is. And a lot of the time you're going to be hired by tech companies, SaaS companies, or service related companies. So I've hired CSMs to help me with my YouTube coaching program. So I've literally like hired these people to work with my clients and make sure that they get success on YouTube. Again, link is down in the description in the pinned comment below. And this position makes pretty good money, about fifty-one dollars to $74,000 a year. There's some free trainings you can take online that are pretty good for this, like Customer Service Fundamentals on Coursera. There's also the Inbound Certification course on HubSpot Academy, which is designed
designed to attract, engage, and delight your customers. There's also the Customer Success Manager Fundamentals to Your CSM Career course that you can take on Udemy. And there's other careers you can move into. So Client Success Manager makes about $95,000 to $164,000 a year. And then Director of Client Success makes about $133,000 to $241,000 a year. Now, one company you could apply for would be Prime Pay. And they're basically a company that does payroll and HR software for small and mid-sized organizations. They've worked with over 18,000 businesses and they've been around for 37 years. So the division of the Prime Pay company is going to be Profit Keeper. This is the division you're going to be working for. Here's some information about the role. I'll put it up on the screen. They do start you off at 45 to 55K based on experience. And there really aren't that many requirements. I mean, it's just one of those roles where you can just reply for it. You don't need a college degree, previous experience, anything like that. And it has pretty good ratings online from people who've worked at the company. So yeah, pretty obvious how to apply to this one. You go to primepay.com, navigate to the bottom of the page, and then click on careers under the company section. Then you wanna click on see our job board. Then you wanna scroll down through the listing until you find this. Then you wanna click on the job and apply. Yeah, pretty easy one to get into. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a PR associate. And in this role, you're gonna be tracking media coverage, conducting research and assisting in public relations related tasks. And public relations, of course, is, you know, your company's way of controlling how the media and the general public views the company's brand and image. And a fun fact about PR is the first official PR company dated back to 1900. And this was when the first PR agency opened up and it was called the Publicity Bureau. However, PR has been around a lot longer than that. It just wasn't official. Now, PR associates make about 51 to $83,000 a year. And one company you could apply for would be Triple Point PR. And of course, this is a PR company. Here's an overview of their job posting. Here's the responsibilities. You can pause the video and check it out if you'd like. And the salary, they start you off at about $20 per hour. Although you can make much more than this and Glassdoor has them making about $73,000 to $134,000 a year. Also has some pretty good ratings online. So the way you'd apply for it is you go to triplepointpr.com. You click on the careers button in the upper right hand corner. That'll take you to this page. Now scroll down and click associate. Now fill in the details and apply for the job. So yeah, pretty solid one. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is gonna be an entry level reporter. In this position, you basically research, write, and publish news stories on various different topics. And entry level reporters make about 39 to $70,000 a year. Now the company that's hiring for this position is IBT Media, and they're all about fast and accurate news. Now, when it comes to the requirements, they say you need a bachelor's in communication journalism or equivalent experience in education. Now, whenever you read that, guys, this is like a pro tip for any job you ever apply to, just apply anyways, okay? And then the other ones on here are pretty non-tangible things that, you know, you there's no way you could tell someone has that or not. So you can just customize your resume and your portfolio to showcase that you have those skills. And in this position, you'd make about forty-two dollars to $73,000 a year. And the way you'd apply is you'd go to ibt.media, you'd land on this page, you scroll down until you reach the career section, then you click on careers. Then you scroll down until you find entry level reporter, you click on it, and then you apply and you get started. But yeah, pretty good one. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a credit repair administrative assistant. Now, this is somebody who collaborates with clients to help them repair their credit. And in this position, you make about 37 to $55,000 a year. And a company that you could apply for that is actually hiring for this position right now is 24 seven VA. Here's some of the key responsibilities in the job description. And yeah, it's pretty easy to apply. You just go to 24 seven VA.com. You land on this page. Then you click on find remote jobs and you should land here. Then you click on view all available jobs at 24 seven VA, then you scroll down from here and then you apply for the job and you're good to go. Now, one course you could take to be ready for this is the Fundamentals of Credit Analysis course on Coursera. And there's a lot of other careers you can go into after you've gotten a few years of experience. For instance, credit repair specialists make about 57 to $101,000 a year and credit repair managers make about 91 to $159,000 a year. So really good money there. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. And if you wanna work from home worldwide, here are a bunch of jobs you can do that with. You can check out the video by clicking right here.